What's up guys, GT here. Now, in most given scenarios and in your day-to-day -day playing, a typical delay block from the Axe FX2 will get the job done. But there are specific scenarios where you would need more granular control over the different parameters of a delay. And that's where most of the delay blocks fall short. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the 10 tap delay to achieve more granular control over the delay parameters. So let's put two minutes on the clock and let's kick it off. All right, so the first thing you want to do is obviously go and select the multi delay block here. The 10 tap delay is part of the multi delay block and not part of the standard delay block. You want to change the effect type to 10 tap delay. And this is where you'll see a lot of controls presented to you. The first few are pretty standard. You can set the delay time and delay tempo, which is standard to any delay block in the Axe FX2. The number of taps is where it starts to get really interesting. You can actually set the number of repeats for your delay, which you can typically do by using the feedback in a specific delay block, but it's get it gets really hard and if you want a specific number of repeats it's hard to do that using just the feedback block so here it's set to six you will get six delay repeats in this scenario you can control the decay as well it's set to 50 percent let's hear how it sounds at default so as you can see i hear six specific repeats happening but if i change the decay back to zero percent what will happen is that the decay will go away from the repeats and all the repeats will be of the same magnitude which is really fantastic and easy to achieve using this block Now you can hear that exactly same level for all of the repeats, which using feedback is really hard to do. You can obviously change from mono to stereo and change the pan shape of the repeats, but that's pretty standard stuff. The real magic also happens inside the level section. Now, if you go inside the level section, you can actually set the level of individual repeats up to 10 levels, which is really fantastic and really hard to do using a standard delay block. So if I wanted the third repeat of my delay to be slightly louder, I can change change the db let's say to 10 db for the sake of this video for the third level and this is how it will sound you clearly hear that the third repeat was really louder than the other repeats if i wanted the first repeat to slightly be less in volume you can do that as well And this is how you can achieve a much more granular approach to setting your delay repeats and controlling the delay block a lot better. Hopefully you like this video, follow for more tips and let me know in the comments below what more tips would you like me to cover. Until I see you guys in the next video, make sure you guys stay safe, keep rocking, cheers, bye bye.